Now that we're getting the hang of unguided bomb delivery, we're going to move on to using unguided rockets. We have two rocket types loaded for this lesson, but they're both delivered in the same manner, basically point and shoot when within range. We'll keep this lesson in active pause mode as we discuss unguided rockets. Press the spacebar to continue. Take a look at the weapon status panel in the center of the front dash. You'll see that only the third most outer and inner stations can be loaded with rockets, indicated by the yellow lights. On the black weapon panel to the left of the HUD is a dash field that indicates the selected weapon type. Currently, no weapon type is selected. Let's select rockets now by entering air to ground mode. Press 7. Great, now we're in air to ground mode and you can see HPC, which indicates rockets, shown in the current weapon field. You can also see green lights on the active weapon station indication. In this case, the third most outward station on the right wing. In the lower right portion of the HUD, you are provided the name of the selected rocket type. You can see SAKOM, which indicates the SAKOM. This rocket uses a BAM-1 rocket pod with 20 rockets per pod. The rocket is 82 millimeters in diameter, has a range of about 2 kilometers, and has a shape charge warhead, which is good against armor. Press D to select the next rocket type. This is the S-13OF, which is held 4 to a B-13L rocket pod. The rocket is larger than the S-8, having a diameter of 122 millimeters. It has a blast fragmentation warhead and has a range of about 2 kilometers. High explosive and blast fragmentation warheads are best used against unarmored and lightly armored targets. However, a direct hit on an armored vehicle may destroy it, depending on the size of the warhead. Press the spacebar to continue. In addition to the S-8KOM and the S-13OF, the SU-27 can employ two other rocket types. The S-24B is your largest rocket with a diameter of 600 millimeters and a mass of 235 kilogram blast fragmentation warhead. Given its size, the S-24B is not housed in a pod, but rather directly attached to the weapon station. The final rocket is the S-8OFP-2. Like the KOM version, it's an 82 millimeter rocket with 20 rockets per pod. However, this one is a blast fragmentation warhead. Press the spacebar to unpause the lesson and fly through all the gates ahead. As we're en route to the target, we can practice your low level ingress skills. Nearing the target will initiate a pop up attack. In the middle portion of your HUD is your rocket aiming reticle. Much like the bombing reticle, this indicates where the rockets will land if you launch them at that instant. However, the range must be within minimum and maximum range value of the selected rocket type. Along the left side of the HUD is the rocket launch zone indication. The top bar indicates the maximum range of the rocket, and the bottom bar indicates the minimum safe range. The carrot moves vertically along the left side of the HUD to indicate your current range based on where the rocket aiming reticle is placed. When the carrot is between the maximum and minimum range bars, the range is valid. When your selected rocket type is within range, a launch authorization queue will appear on the HUD. At the next gate, we'll start our climb. Make sure your speed is above 700 kilometers per hour.
As you pass through the top gate, roll the aircraft inverted and pull the nose down to the target. The target is marked with red smoke. When aligned with the target, roll the wings level while keeping the aiming reticle over the target. Press the spacebar to fire the rockets when you see the LAQ on the HUD. Pull up. Pull up. Pull That's up. it on target. You can end the Pull lesson up. now by pressing escape Pull key, up. or we can practice using other rocket types on the targets that just marked with green smoke. Minimum speed. Minimum speed. Minimum speed. Minimum speed. Minimum speed. Minimum speed. Pull up. Pull up. 